you guys, it's Ivan and welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, I am doing my car tour. Woo! Sorry if I look different in the thumbnail versus before you right now, because I look beat as f as yeah, I look beat. Um, I'm stupid and I filmed this video and I edited it and it was in the wrong resolution, so I looked like garbage. So yeah, here we are. And I'm in my car and it's so hot. It's yeah, I don't know why it's a million degrees, and I'm also sorry for the lighting because it's 446 right now so the sun's going down but anyway we're sitting inside of my car and i have a 2021 volkswagen atlas um yeah i bought it less than a month ago um i have the full atlas so not the sport um i have it with four motion and technology four motion is the ability to make your vehicle off-road put it in sport mode put it in eco mode um snow mode yeah um i also have the technology package which means that my radio and all that is fully digital and i'll show you guys that and um what else i have so there's four versions of the atlas there's the s the se the sel and the premium i have the se so for my car and with the packages that i have um for motion technology and the tow package my car is roughly about 36 grand or so um, yeah, so I used to have a, uh, a 2018 Ford Focus, and now I'm in a whole SUV. Um, I have three-row seating, bench seat in the back, as you can see. Um, what else? I mean, there's really not too much. My car's a push start. These are all things you guys are going to see. So I'm going to quit rambling like this and show you my damn car. So yeah. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is turn on my car. I can remote start it. Um... But, you know, it is what it is. It says hello, Mignon, because you can have different drivers. But I can rem remote start it with my key as well as um, with my the app on the phone, uh, the Volkswagen Car Connect. But this is what the inside of my car is looking like. So I have wood grain paneling and silver. The interior of my car is black. Um, I have the half digital dash, so these two are regular. And the middle is digital where I can show you guys different little options like speed and all types of stuff. I can change my music and it'll tell me different things. Um, but I usually keep it on speed, but you have the option to make this full digital if you want, but I chose not to do that. Um, I have the same little controls over here for my automatic lights um, and my rear view or my side mirrors. I mean, I'm sorry. I have the option, or it's not an option, but it is a little um, blind spot detector, so that will light up orange. It lets you know that you should not switch lanes because there's a car in your blind spot. This is what my steering wheel is looking like. This is your view. It's pretty nice. It has the Volkswagen emblem. It's a really nice horn. I don't have really big hands, so it works for me. Um, something that should be kind of obvious being a 2021 is that um these are electronic seats or electric seats um so you just basically it's like hitting a light switch or holding on a button to recline um your seat and do lumbar so this is my infotainment system i'm going to come right back to that i'm going to show you guys the center console and all that first so i can control obviously um i have heated seats and all of this when you remote start your car it'll automatically um put this to 72 or 75 i believe it's i think it's 72 degrees and then if it's a certain temperature outside like if it's cold it'll turn the seat warmers on for you and if it's hot it'll turn the ac warmers or the ac version of the seat warmers on for you um down here i have usb ports and whatnot as well as a 12 volt i don't know if you guys can see that and then all this right here this whole pad is wireless charging so you can charge devices right there including your phone um Obviously, this is the perindle. It's really nice and pretty. Push start. This right here, if I hold on the brake and flick it up like a light switch, that is my e-brake. Right here, if I press this, it is um, a... It's your rear view camera, so it'll pull up different views. You don't have to be in reverse in order to turn that on. This is the four motion. Um, if I push this, I can cycle through settings um, for different modes for my car, as well as if I twist the knob. Obviously, I have cup holders. And then here, I have the center console. Um, it's actually really deep. You can put like a whole bo uh, bag of McDonald's food in there. Um, it also has USB ports in here. Um, it's pretty standard. I mean, I know some, maybe not for this brand of car, but some have like the split um, center console, but mine doesn't. More wood paneling. And then in here, obviously, it is my glove compartment. But as you can see, I can put SD cards. And then that up there is a CD player. And that is another SD card slot. It's not 1995, so I probably won't be using that. But um, it's nice if you like CDs. Um, so 
up here coming up. I'll do the infotainment system last because it's kind of in depth. Obviously, it's a review mirror. It tells me the direction that my car is pointing and it has buttons underneath um, that you can use to program to your garage opener. And the cool thing about this is it's auto dimming. So usually you have a little tab to adjust uh, flick your mirror up and down in case there's someone has high beams on behind you But mine is auto dimming so I don't have to touch it at all. It'll just automatically dim it. So I'm not blinded um, Up here. We have a couple different buttons. So this is your SOS button in case you're in trouble maintenance information Don't really know what this does obviously right here sunglass compartment and then this is so if you press this button right here I'm sorry guys, the sun is like literally going down. If you press this button right here, your lights will come on when you open the door, but these are obviously left inside, or driver and passenger lights, and then this one is for the middle row, if you can't see. And then, <laughs> this is the middle row. I have bench seating, I'm actually gonna climb back there and show you guys, but it has lights and everything. And then my third row is currently all the way back, like all the way down, so I have more truck space, um, but I will show you guys that in a second. Okay guys, I'm actually gonna turn on the lights in here. It's probably not gonna do anything. Um, but this is my back seat. I'm actually super zoomed in, so let's zoom out a little bit. Um, something I have that I think is really cool is they have visors that you can pull up and down to block out the sun in the back seats, which is super cool. Um, nothing that interesting back there. There's some little cubby spaces, cup holders. Back here, which is kind of cool, is you can control the own AC. Um, heat or cool whatever so you can turn it up you can turn it down adjust the fan uh, turn it down auto you can have it on your feet you can turn it off at the bottom there you have two USB ports um, as well as like an actual outlet you can't really see because it's dark <laughs> I'm picking a bad time to film this I had all day to refilm this and then on the other side <laughs> you have another little visor I'm not gonna um, show too much because then you'll see my house and where I live however if I zoom in just enough, you can see my dogs in the window. The, bo the boxer is Ruger and the German Shepherd is Stella. She's the one with all the ears. But yeah, so this is this. Um, and there's also obviously the center, uh, the middle seat cup holders right now. My seats actually aren't lined up because we will like try and move stuff around and then they don't sit back in the right spot because we are lazy and it's kind of hard to put the seats down. But you use these and then there's like a lever that you have to pull. It's a whole thing, okay? Um, but yeah, and then I'll just show you guys the third row. So down here, all right here, these are the two seats in the back. Um, it's actually pretty spacious back there, but I have it down because I usually no one's ever back there anyway So it just makes more trunk space. So technically my trunk is right there But underneath that carpet looking thing is my spare tire and stuff these little blocks came with my car They're like a luggage carrier so things won't slide around you put whatever you want inside of them and then it'll Like grip it so it can't slide obviously seat belts um, There's another little 12 volt right there cup holders and all of that um, car seat hooks and things like that like down there the only thing that kind of sucks about the third row is you don't have your own USB port so you will have to use um, the ones down here and just run your USB cord over the seat but there are little vents um, as you can see right there there are little vents for the car or for the third row and then it obviously has its own lights um, so now, ooh, I look gross. Hi. Uh, so now I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I mean, I guess I don't have to show you the back of the car, but I'm gonna show you the back of the car because why not? Because I mean, I feel like the back of the car kind of makes or breaks how it looks. Um, but yeah, and then we'll get back in the car and I will show you guys the whole infotainment setup, and that'll be that. It'll be a pretty quick video, don't worry. So here's the back of the car. Okay, and another feature I forgot to mention is actually it's a keyless entry. Um, so as long as you can obviously use the uh, the key fob to unlock your car, but you can also use the app, which is the Volkswagen like Connect app. You can do the remote start and all of those things. There's some guy getting his mail right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, <laughs> uh, you can so you can do that, or they have the little slits on the. Um, on the door handle and you can press that with your thumb and that'll unlock or lock your car or you can just put your hand like this behind the um door handle and it'll just lock or unlock so you go once to unlock your door like probably like the driver door and you go twice like that and it unlocks all the car doors so that's pretty cool but i'm going to show you guys the infotainment system 
Um, so the version I have, I mean, you can connect as you get into the car, but if you want the full display with the maps and everything, so like if I go like this, it's not gonna pull anything up, but I can, um, I can obviously Bluetooth my music. However, I like the display, so what I do, I'm gonna try and show you guys this. I connect it, and as I connect it, it says that it's pairing to my iPhone, and then this pops up. This is the home page after you connect. It has all these different little apps. You can read them. I'm not going to read them out loud. Um, Spotify and stuff like that. So I'm usually using music. So if I touch music, um, I don't, I'm not on Wi-Fi right now, but it'll have all my library stuff. It'll have radio stations and stuff like that that you can customize. Um, if you want to pick a song or whatever, you can obviously slide because it's touchscreen you can tap right here it'll give you the letters and you can scroll or if you want to you can use this knob and this knob is kind of like just a few more like if you're in the passenger seat and you don't feel like touching it but yeah shout out to Miranda Cosgrove um so that's one option there's also text messages so it will um go off of the last people you texted so I just have my friends and stuff like that um it also has a maps option which looks like that it's literally just Apple Maps. Um, and then if you go here, it, you have the option for phone, so you can call people. Um, if you get a text message while you're hooked up to this, it'll actually read your text messages out loud and if you want it to, and then you can respond verbally and it will um, send a text message of whatever you want. What else, what else? I mean, everything else in the car is like pretty standard. I guess I can show you guys this, so if I press this button, um, obviously I'm in park right now, but it can show you different views of my car, which is pretty cool. Um, I have a tow hook on mine, so I can see if whatever I'm towing is still connected, and you can change the aperture and stuff like that. But that is a pretty... Ooh, 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 ooh. Hi. That is a pretty quick and pretty um, short rundown of my car. It's a lot less in-depth than the first video I filmed. I was just like talking way too much and no one cares. So I thought I'd just shorten it down to like the bare bones. Um, it's a really nice car. It's my first ever SUV. Uh, I was like thinking about this car for months and I was like, I want it so bad. And then I started just sitting there manifesting it. I was like, I'm gonna go out and get that car. Like, I'm just gonna go do it. And that's what I did. I went and I got my car. So yeah, this is Trent, my baby. Uh, they have many different colors. You can also get it wrapped. They have wrap options at Volkswagen and stuff like that. Um, there's really not much to say. It's definitely a different drive from a Ford Focus, let me tell you. Like, for instance, in this car, the power steering is electric, so it's, like, super easy to turn the wheel. And, like, my husband's car, he also has a Ford Focus, um, and his is a 2016. And it's not like because it's old, but driving that and steering it is a completely different feel to my car. So that, and then obviously figuring out how much pressure you need for the gas and brake and stuff like that is always different when you get a new car. But other than that, I really like it. I like how high I sit up. It's kind of, I'm short, so it's kind of weird trying like to look and see if I can see my hood because sometimes I'm like, I really don't know what I'm looking at. But that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, I post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye. Don't